You ever go to the social channels for a business and you see that it's all kind of me, 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 all they're talking about is themselves, a company lunch they had, some retreat they did, never about you. Or they are always promoting a sale, $50 off here, $100 off there. These are ways that businesses think they should be using social media. But methods like that just turn people off. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to properly schedule a social media strategy so you don't turn people off, so you bring them in. So stay tuned for that. Setting up a plan or a social media schedule is the first step in putting together a great social media strategy. And this is actually really very simple. All you're doing is coming up with the type of content that you're going to do on each day of the week. Each day of the week should have content that is different from the prior day and that serves a specific purpose in how it's being used and how it's intended to interact with your audience. I'm going to give you an example on the screen of how we schedule out social media campaigns. In this example, I'm going to do a five-day schedule. On Monday, we have a strategy, and that strategy we call Motivation Monday. It's the first business day of the week, and what we want to do is have posts that are, are uplifting, uh, informative in a positive way, something that after the person reads it, they'll, they'll feel pretty good about it, and they'll have that affinity with our brand. The second day of the week, Tuesday, well, we use that to talk about industry news. Industry news and industry trends are a quite great way to convey yourself as a thought leader in your industry to your prospective customer, client, or patient. Sometimes you share a piece of content created by an industry organization, maybe sometimes a competitor. Sometimes you create something yourself that rewrites and repackages up some really important news in your industry. This is your opportunity on Tuesday to be the thought leader in your industry. On Wednesday, the strategy we'll use is about your business. What we're doing here is we're going to give some tips or some suggestions on things that that client can use. For example, this video about how to set up social media, this might not be a bad about your business piece of content. We would write a short social post and link to this video either on our website or on YouTube. Now Thursday, well Thursday is almost a cliche because Thursday, well that's Throwback Thursday. This is an opportunity to take some content you've created in the past and repurpose it or package it up. Sometimes you just point to the old content and use it the way it is initially. Other times you may choose to rework it or you might share something that happened, something that was really important in the past and revisit it. Use Throwback Thursday as an opportunity to repackage and reuse something you've created in the past, as well as celebrate things that have happened in the past. Fridays? Fridays are the opportunity to use testimonials and share them. When somebody says something really good about your brand, says something really good about you, you want to use Friday as that day where you put it all together and you share it. And you do it in such a way that it's not really bragging. You say, thank you such and such for saying these kind words. And then you may quote that and the link to where they said it. For example, you might use Google or Yelp or Angie's List or Health Grades or some other site where you're getting testimonials from people. In your Friday post with testimonials, you're going to want to link to that location so that you can share where that original quote came from. Now, there are several other strategies that you can do. And I encourage you, as you're planning out your strategies, to go back to the marketing calendar. And if you don't have one, I created a, a good video on it. Just click the link at the top and you can learn all about creating your marketing calendar. In your marketing calendar, you have plans for campaigns, for content. And if you align your social media schedule with the planned efforts in your marketing calendar, it gives you some fresh content to share through your social channels. And the last thing I'd like to talk about is doing live feeds. Periodically in the schedule, in your strategy for social media, do a Facebook Live. Do something where you have a live interaction with your customers, clients, or patients, or an interview, or some other model that shows an additional type of freshness. Combining all these different strategies together and doing them on a consistent basis will make your social media channels look authoritative, look organized, and be the type of destination where your customers, clients, patients 
will go to read and learn more in your industry. I hope this is helpful. We do these videos every week. If you liked it, I appreciate a like. If you have any questions or you think I should have done something a little differently, give me a comment. Thanks for your attention. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.